broadcast from the Luki Kenya. This is the Me and Larry reality video show, LTO! Editorial News, the Cable News Report for February 4th, 2011. Yes, the major news story is still Egypt, Egypt. But here's a key story that I get from the number one news source, and I kind of extended it and made it a little bit better. And this is dealing with uh, what's going on in Egypt and the reason why things are happening this way. Now, this is what uh, Alatola Ali Khomeini was saying at Tehran University as uh, they are celebrating the 32nd anniversary of the Islamic movement because back in 1979 that uh, uh, the change was made in Iran to where uh, the U.S. Uh, who was a pro-U.S. leader in Iran was stepped aside, was was left, I mean, he had to go for an Islamic Republic. Now, what's happening in there, and that was uh, Ayatollah Khomeini. But now, Ayatollah Ali Khomeini was saying that uh, what is happening in Egypt and Tunisia was none but a Islamic awakening and it's a liberation from the what's been now uh, been put in bondage especially of the president Egyptian president Horsni Mubarak they, he's saying that he was a servant of the of Israel and the US and he's he's really a servant of um, and this is the word that is really key Zionists and the, and the Zionists is really dealing with a, uh, a national a nationalist and a national uh, liberation of Jewish uh, Jewish um, political movement so all this is added up why um, I, uh, Ali uh, Khomeini is saying that this is a Islamic awakening to really get back to their country of Egypt and why Mubarak had to go. Now Mubarak was on, of course, I guess it's ABC uh, 2020. And this time you got an interview by the name of, who used to be of CNN, and she was the chief correspondent. And that's Christina uh, Anapor, who had her own show on CNN. But she interviewed President Mubarak from Egypt, and he was saying last night, I was very unhappy about yesterday. I do not want to see Egyptians fighting with each other. Do you think? Nobody won't. But that Tuesday thing and what went down, uh, it was not called for. Because here you are, hey, maybe unreportedly, you paid them to be your protest, to uh, fight for you. But then after that, you got 100 people that died Tuesday, three Wednesday, and then Thursday, 13 people dying. So the key thing is, what's going on? But then again, from LTL, when I drop a bombshell, 
This is a bombshell. Now, thanks to my viewers and how the viewers uh, respond and gave me a lot of views. Thank you, viewers. The one that really touched it is right here. The one that says from uh, the Bible, from the scripture, uh, Isaiah 19 in a Christian Bible, that is. And this is what it says in chapter 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptian against Egyptian, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And chapter 4 is a good one too. That the Egyptian will I give over into the hands of a cruel lord, or a king, that is. And a fierce king shall rule over them, said the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Now, you know how long this Bible was uh, made a long time ago. You can say the Quran been made a long time ago, and the Bible was made a long time ago. Those two informations can come up to a conclusion that this is a prophecy. It could be to the viewers who are thinking about it, but LTL calling it like it is. A prophecy, what God is saying, and setting things up. This could be the oncoming fact of, of the Armageddon coming up. Because when you got uh, Islamic Republic, and this is a story of them. In 1979, they held the U.S. Uh, people who was in Iran hostage. And here's another bombshell for you, U.S. This caused Mr. Jimmy Carter, who was president, to be out of office. Because in 1980, that when they... Uh, of course, they had the election, which got you out of there. Now, Barack Obama, at least, is getting a little bit smarter. He's telling the people to get out of there, the U.S. people to get out of Egypt, and rightfully so, because he must be reading his Bible. He must be seeing what's going on and what's going down. So all that is coming about. What... Uh, Islamic awakening is and what God was saying in the Bible in uh, Isaiah 19 verses 2 and 4. I'll be back with my last story on the LTL Editorial News Cable News Report.